I just want to say that I'm nowhere near good at doing makeup. So, <laughs> it is what it is. But I just wanted to recreate my mother's mortuary makeup because I took it upon myself to do her makeup for her funeral. And even though I'm not good at makeup, she always told me that I was doing a good job. <laughs> and it's really hard for me to talk about it. But uh, gosh, it was not recording. But when I got to the place, uh, I had to get there a little bit earlier to do her makeup before viewing because uh, I chose to do an open casting and when I saw her, she was already wearing makeup and not even, he, the dude was like, I already did her face and I wasn't about to get upset because it's not that, you know, it's not that deep, but she was pale, like, they didn't have any brown colors at all, I already assumed that, um, so even if this wasn't something that my mom wouldn't have wanted me to do, uh, I was still going to have to do it anyways, because where I live, we are the minority, there are virtually little to no actual black people or brown people or there's people of color but they're not tan they're not brown so there's no chance of them having the same foundation shades in the first place um so that kind of made me upset but um i was like fine i'll, I'll just like work over it but then <laughs> I accidentally put my foundation shade on top of her face that was already pale so it was a little bit too light and instead of using hers or a dark shade I just like no it'll be okay <laughs> um, I don't know how much I'm actually going to talk in this one because I feel like I'm going to cry with every word that I say and from this posting, it'll be a month since she passed. And I'm still having a hard time. So, yeah. Because I ended up pouring too much foundation. And what you people know is like doing makeup on a dead body is way harder than doing makeup on a live person. So doing her eyebrows was kind of hard. Um, I guess she has thin eyebrows like me. And <laughs> it was already a lot of foundation <laughs> on top of her eyebrow or like covering it based on whatever they put on her face as well and so that was very hard for me but it was it, it came out okay <laughs> I knew for my mom's makeup, I would have to do something more vibrant and not dreary. <laughs> so, I tried to mimic another makeup look that I've done 
by myself. But, uh, like I said, doing makeup on a, on a live person was harder. And uh, it wasn't sticking as good. So I kind of had to like put a lot I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. But, uh, like for me, it's going on easy. I don't have to dab and dab and dab and dab. But doing it for her, I had to keep dabbing into multiple palettes because the first palette I used, it was not, it was just not happening. And, uh, I thought it was the palette. Because doing my mom's makeup, like, even when she was alive, her eyes are much smaller than mine's, and uh, she has very deeply hooded eyes. So it's hard to find the right crease and style. And I was practicing that, but. Uh, things are different when your eyes are sewn shut. Uh, personally, I don't feel like explaining every single thing that I did in this video because I'm going to have to write it. Um, but I'm just adding a lot of blush in. I decided to add bronzer after, um, like I said, lifeless. And I don't know, I thought blush was gonna make it and feel a little warmer. Um, I don't really know. Also, I've been uh, dipping into Dalian style makeup egg yourself so that's probably why <laughs> hopefully you can't hear spongebob in the background because that's what i'm watching as i'm recording this um but yeah i only added a highlight a highlighter to the bridge the nose and i didn't see a point in contouring at all so i did not contour the nose As usual, I added uh, a highlighter into the inner corners of the eyes because that's just beautiful. But then it kind of got out of hand because it wasn't even and I was putting too much. But it is all what it is. I did use a contour stick to not even contour, just to help make the makeup a little bit more darker on her face. Uh, and it did help a bit. I naturally do this for myself. Not naturally. Sometimes I do this for myself when I just want to get rid of my acne scars. So, uh, the contour is not even used for contour. <laughs> so I was going to use this long lasting lipstick <laughs> because I was like, she's gonna be under there forever. But at least, uh, you know, the color will still be on her lips and my twisted mind. But her lips are like super, dry i don't know if that's normal for a dead body or a body in general that's lifeless <laughs> whatever i don't um i don't want to keep on saying that over and over but it was very very dry it was like uh putting i don't know i don't know it was like painting chalk I don't, I don't, or 
with felt leather? I don't really know. I keep on saying I don't know because I don't know. <laughs> but it did not feel right. But for her, I had to use multiple colors because I just couldn't get it to not look stupid. Like, I felt like I was doing such a terrible job. The colors was just not... It was not... <laughs> it was not giving what it was supposed to give. And so I had to mix a whole bunch of colors on top of her lips because I already put it there. And I was feeling really bad because... <sighs> Actually, I don't want to go there. So this one wasn't really... My mom thing. This was more of a me thing, but I did put this on my mom. Um, because growing up, and even now, I still really love glitter. And every single day, <laughs> my mom would find like glitter in the house and on the floor or anywhere, and she'd be like, "Phoenix," <laughs> and I'm like, "How do you know it's me? <laughs> like how?" <laughs> but it was always me. I know she didn't really need it because, like I said, they did the base. But uh, I had forgotten that I didn't do concealer, so I just added a little bit under her eyes. And insert the sad liner once again because I still don't know how to do eyeliner. But I feel like I did a better job on her than me for that uh, case. And in this video, I kind of messed up, but I was, I'm still grieving. I'm not gonna say it was. I was very emotional and I was just trying to just go ahead and film because my sister was like uh it makes no sense why uh why you shouldn't um so yeah <laughs> I really wish I was better at makeup, like, I do. So, I'm adding white eyeliner at the bottom lash line. <laughs> and I just wanted to brighten up the eyes a little bit more, I think. <laughs> and, uh, this is a long running thing, so obviously you see me without makeup. And as you can see, my eyelids are pretty dark. And my mom's eyelids are darker than mine. It's just like a uh, genetic, to be honest, because she said her mother's eyes were also like that. And so she would always say when I was doing her makeup, if I could brighten up her eyes uh, a little more or <laughs> a lot more and Whoa. I'm gonna just stop right there <laughs> um being that her dying is my fault. I really wish that she was still here. It hurts waking up and knowing that your favorite person in the whole world is gone. 